What's up you guys, it's Techie Chris here. I'm a network engineer that likes to make technology concepts simple. Today we're going to be talking about port security. So what is port security, you might ask? Port security is a network security feature that limits access to a network by controlling what devices have access to specific ports on that network. Port security is usually used in a network to ensure that unauthorized users don't get access to the network, typically via switch port or network jack. Port security will usually block the access of these devices based on MAC address. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure port security. As you see here, what I'm going to do is just drop off this switch. Just a regular switch, nothing too fancy about it. Just see a lot of the switch, and I'm going to press enter a few times. I'm going to use an enable command. From there, I'm going to enter global configuration mode with the command configure terminal, which can be shortened as conf t. From there, what I'm going to do is use the command do show ip int brief. From here, you're going to see all the interfaces that your switch has, and you're going to choose the interface that you want to enable port security on. Now we're going to enter interface configuration mode with the command int f0 slash 1. Now we're in interface configuration mode. Now we're going to use the command switch port port security we're going to enter as you can see the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is currently configured as a dynamic port here's how we're going to fix that we're going to use the command switch port mode access to make this port an access port now when we use the switch port, port security command it should work fine After you use the switch port, port security command, what you're next going to do is use the same command and then put a question mark. From here, you're going to see the different choices that you can enter to move forward with this next step. Today in this video, we're going to talk about maximum and violation. So to configure the violation mode, what we're going to use is the violation and use another question mark. From here, you're going to see three different choices. Protect, restrict, and shutdown. Protect mode drops packages with unknown MAC addresses, but does not send any syslog message. Restrict mode drops packages with unknown MAC addresses, but the difference is it sends the syslog message. Both protect and restrict mode remain up after a violation has occurred on the switch port. Shutdown mode is the default mode, and with shutdown mode, the port enters an error disabled state, where you have to manually come and bring it back up after the violation has occurred. So if a port security violation is committed while the port is in shutdown mode, you will have to use the command shutdown, no shutdown, to bring the port back up. For this demonstration, we're going to go with the shutdown command. So now at this point, we have officially configured port security on the switch. 